Well, good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Tom Schlater with today's Tom's Take. Let me start here by reading from the Passion Translation, Romans 3, 21 through 25. But now, independently of the law, the righteousness of God is tangible and brought to light through Jesus, the Anointed One. This is the righteousness that the scriptures prophesied would come. It is God's righteousness made visible through the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. And now all who believe in him receive that gift. For there is really no difference between us. For we have all sinned and are in need of the glory of God. Yet through his powerful declaration of acquittal, God freely gives away his righteousness. His gift of love and favor now cascades over us, all because Jesus, the Anointed One, the Anointed One, has liberated us from the guilt, punishment, and power of sin. Jesus' God-given destiny was to be the sacrifice to take away sins. And now he is our mercy seat because of his death on the cross. We come to him for mercy, for God has made a provision for us to be forgiven by faith in the sacred blood of Jesus. This is the perfect demonstration of God's justice, because until now, he had been so patient holding back his justice out of his tolerance for us. So he covered over the sins of those who lived prior to Jesus' sacrifice. Powerful. 1 Peter 3, verse 18 from the Passion. Christ suffered and died for sins once and for all, the innocent for the guilty, to bring you near to God by his body being put to death and by being raised to life by the Spirit. Later this evening, all across our nation, and prior to that, eight hours prior to that in Israel, there will be the celebration of the annual Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. We don't follow the Jewish traditions anymore, but we honor the day. We honor the Day of Atonement because it represents a time when the nation would come together as one. And in Old Testament times, the priest would take the sacrifice of the bull, take it into the Holy of Holies, and sprinkle it on the mercy seat. And then the sins of the people were placed by the sacrifice, were taken care of by the sacrifice of a goat, and that blood also was poured out on the mercy seat. And then the sins of the people were represented by being removed from them by a second goat, the scapegoat, being sent out into the wilderness. Wow. This evening will be the Day of Atonement. And tomorrow on the Day of Atonement, there will be a gathering of possibly a million people on the mall there in Washington, D.C. for this event called Esther's Arising, where mostly women will be gathered together, but many Mordecais, many men will be gathered with them to come before the Lord and say, Lord, here we are. You are the one who once and for all paid the price for all of our sin. You made covenant with us, Lord God, through the blood of your Son, Jesus. You made covenant with us that is once and for all. And we are asking now, dear Lord, on this time of atonement for you to remember again that you have dealt with all of our sin, all of our unrighteousness, all of our evil, not just of our own lives, but the life of this nation. And we ask, Lord, that you would once again remember your covenant with us. 
Remember the sacrifice. Remember, dear Lord, that you will heal the land if your people will come together and seek your face and pray and ask for forgiveness and turn from our evil ways. We do it again, Lord. We do it again. And we thank you, Lord, that your faithfulness, because of your faithfulness, not ours, you will heal us. You will heal our land. And you will awaken it. You will bring it into restoration. You will bring it into fullness of life. You will bring it, dear Lord, to the place to where it needs to be, as you designed it to be, as a city on the hill. A bright light to the rest of the nations of the earth that we have a God who loves us and heals us, even as he desires through his love to heal all the nations of the earth. Celebrate, if you will, the Day of Atonement as it starts this evening. And if you're not able to be in D.C., as we are not, find some way to connect with them on live stream or just to be in prayer throughout the day. And be constantly reminded that the sacrifice of our Lord on the cross and his powerful resurrection is a once and for all thing that is there to heal us, to heal our land, to bring us back into secure covenant with him and to bring forth the true destiny of a nation as God's kingdom and his will are released on earth as it is in heaven. Have a blessed day in the Lord. And we pray for all of those who are traveling to and from, all of those that have already arrived, all of those that are gathering on the mall there in Washington, D.C. They represent all of us. And we pray, dear Lord, that there will be a great manifestation of your glory, of your presence, of your forgiveness, of your awakening, and of your joy as we gather before you as your people. To you, O Lord, be all the glory. Amen.